Hey guys, alright, uh, now we have come to the end of uh, this lecture which is uh, to sum up whatever that we have, uh, we have learned in uh, food safety and food hygiene the critical factors of food poisoning. There will be 12 critical factors that we outline by Ministry of Health uh, that lead to the food poisoning. The first one, touching food with bare hands, then that is the reason why you need to wash your hands properly which is as I mentioned in the previous slide which is you have to wash it seven steps that complete complete with seven steps uh, avoid to make sure that your hands are clean and please do not touch your food with bare hands use the right protection equipment such as gloves, tongs to make sure that uh, you not contaminate the food the next is cross contamination from raw to ready to eat foods which is make sure that you need to separate things get more than one cutting board plastic cutting board or rubber cutting boards to avoid this thing from happen and chemicals please always store in a different place in this dedicated place do not mix it up because be afraid that the you know that the people can be careless and afraid that it will contaminate your food uh, with chemi chemicals alright so in the end please store your chemicals in a dedicated place separate from the food uh, preparation area and cooking too far ahead of time. Please serve within four hours. If you are if you are serving food, make sure that it's within four hours, which means it's safe to be consumed. And please plan accordingly your time when you start to cook and your serving time. And please do not serve other cooked foods, especially chicken because it contains some vanilla and it's raw. If you can look at these pictures, the middle is still pink. Do not as do not put your cup your your reputation and reputation as a food handlers into a uh, on risk by serving such thing. All right, just make sure that you perfectly check uh, that all the foods before it being served are perfectly cooked, and do not reheating mixture of leftover and freshly cooked food, which is big no. All right, the leftover should be leftover. If it is safe, still safe to eat, you may serve it as a leftover or you can always throw it. But for the new freshly cooked food, should not be mixed with the, with the leftover. Because uh, the, the freshly cooked food is definitely something that uh, le less uh, hazardous if compared with leftover. So you are just uh, being let the, cook, the freshly cooked food contaminated or uh, I mean to expose it with uh, the possibility to get contaminated with uh, with this pathogen. Alright, and spot or contaminated raw food should be something that should be avoided. So please get fresh ingredients, fresh raw raw materials to use to 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 serve your food because definitely it's just not it's just not the responsibility for you to find food handlers to give something fresh, but it also uh, it is so, uh, I mean, it's a natural thing that people love something quality and definitely when people taste your food and it's fresh and it is safe, definitely they will come back. And incomplete defrost, defrost, defrosting of raw food is one of the factors that you need to tackle. Make sure that it completely defrosted. As I mentioned in the previous slide, there will be three types or uh, three ways of how to defrost. Uh, this is to avoid that fish is undercooked. The raw, the product that you, the frozen product that you are going to use is under, undercooked uh, prior to frying, uh, due to fry without defrost, defrosting it first. The next uh, factor is the raw and cooked food stored in the incorrect temperature places. So please check your place, check the way you store your foods, and make sure that it is within uh, the temperature that is safe. Uh, for you to set to store the food and if you're not taking care of it definitely as you can see in this uh this paper cut uh definitely 123 students uh, diarrhea so these are the things that we try to avoid all right uh, so please use the follow please follow the standard procedure pro, uh, procedure procedures to make sure that we can avoid uh, the food poisoning to be happen sick food handlers with poor personal hygiene need to be Audited. So if you are as a personal food handler, uh, as a food handler, you always 
need to look at yourself to make sure you maintain the cleanliness of yourself, your personal hygiene. If you're sick, get some help from the hot med, med, uh, from doctors, and you can always rest at home. Do not expose, uh, give risk to the food uh, with your uh, sickness. All right. So food to do not expose to pests. All right. That's why we need to cover all the food after we cook it, or even it is something raw. You need to cover it. If you are just expose it, of course the pest is attracted and will come and might contaminate your food. And equipment which is dirty in poor condition, please discard it. Alright, get a new one. Alright, and please have a good control on this thing because this is something very straightforward. You can always do by audit and checking check every single thing that you have, your tools, equipment, those who are those are dirty or in poor condition, just discard it and get a new one. Dirty and poorly maintained premises is a big problem and even you have such a uh, good food to serve and everyone loves your food but if the premises are dirty and poorly maintained, definitely you will expose yourself and put your business into risk of food contamination of course and of course and also being ambushed by the local government uh, help uh, team and your premise should might be get close until you settle to make to clean everything in. All right. So as a conclusion, by in the end of the topic, uh, I hope that you can know that there will be twelve of critical factors of food poisoning and knows what the action to take control the critical factors of food poisoning. And I hope you guys are gained a lot of uh, some information knowledge, which I hope that you can apply during your. Uh, your operation in the kitchen and in the end of the day i just want to emphasize that the reason why we do have this kind of uh, this topic is to avoid uh, food poisoning to have to be happened thank you so much